all the way across from the side. And it's um, kind of interesting when Handel wrote this piece of music in his, in his career, and it was at the point when people thought he was pretty much all washed up that he actually produced the Messiah Oratorio, which was considered one of his greatest works. And he was a child prodigy, he's a composer. Um, people were just clamoring to go to anything that he had written. And at some point, he seemed to sort of fizzle out, and for example, the entire had you know, a short attention span as his human beings. And he was considered to be all washed up. And then a friend of his sent him a libretto, which was based a lot on text from the Bible. And he was inspired by that. And, um, decided to write this oratorio, and he thought it would take him about a year, and he actually then was given a commission for it, and he wrote the entire thing in one month, and it was performed at the in 1754, and tradition has been that when the Hallelujah Chorus portion of the oratorio is performed, that people stand, and that's been, um, there's many different stories about that, and said that when it was first performed for King George, that he... When the, the chorus started, he stood, of course, when the king stood, everyone stood. And we're not sure why King George stood. It could have been he was just tired, it's a very long piece, and he didn't stand up and stretch his legs. Um, we don't know, but that has been the tradition. So if you feel so inclined, you're welcome. This is our version of the Halloween chorus. <laughs> 